What's up people, welcome to Blockchain Investing. Wingless here today, wanted to come at you with some news today. The Star Tribune again. Man, what is this world coming to, man? In Minnesota here, the police are killing all of us. They're killing us civilians. Jamar Clark, Philandro Castile, and now Justine Damond, who called 911 to report a possible crime only to be killed by a responding Minneapolis police officer, has left her grieving family, neighborhood, and nation demanding answers in the latest police-involved shooting. To thrust Minnesota into the international spotlight again. We're not going to get answers, people. Two cops shot a person in the middle of an alley in the middle of the night. They're going to corroborate each other's story. They've already talked to a lawyer. Their attorney has already put out a public statement. This is going to continue to happen. It breaks my heart. But this needed to happen because this has gotten construed as Black Lives Matter and it is not what it is, folks. We as a society have carved out a group of individuals in our society that can act with violence and get away with it. They can get away with murder and we've okayed it. And it makes me sick. It is not white people versus black people. This is people in blue uniforms versus the rest of us. This is the cops versus all of us. They look at us like we are criminals and we are um, the soldiers that they need to battle. And this is just crazy how they're trained. We need to train the cops in a better way of where they need to de-escalate these situations. In an ideal world, in my crazy world, we would take the lethal weapons away from the cops and give them non-lethal means to capture criminals. Man. I don't know what this is going to happen, but I believe that economics is the way to solve these problems and the blockchain and decentralizing things is the way that we can have a revolution in our society, a non-violent revolution where people don't have to die and get killed and murdered anymore. Um, we can decentralize the police force, we can decentralize law enforcement, we can restructure how society is made and how we interact with each other. We need to get the government out of our money. That is a major problem, I'm telling you, because the government pays these cops is a major problem. There's a problem in the world. We've gotten away from people paying people and we've gotten to a place now where corporations pay corporations. And when that happens, people forget about personal responsibility and they expect corporations to take care of their problems as well. And that's why they call the cops to take care of problems when they could have gone and taken care of the problem themselves and avoided the cops and not called them and not had them involved to come in here and destroy a life and destroy the situation. We need to take personal responsibility of our lives and, and what goes on around us and we need to change the world, guys. We, every single one of us, has the power and the ability to change our lives and to subsequently change the world around us. And when people get killed and they die and they get this ability stolen from them and the world gets the possibility taken away from them, what could have been and what the possibility of the future could have been with them alive and what they could have produced and created breaks my heart. And the fact that it's been done by the people that are sworn to protect us makes me sick to my stomach. And this is just going to continue to happen. It's been happening through all of time. The only difference is now that we have cameras and we have news media and a decentralized internet where everyone can communicate. Um, and it can only get better from here, guys. We need to get together. We need to come together and realize that this is not white versus black, that this is a problem of the police versus us, the citizens, and us humans need to come together and treat each other with respect, love, kindness, and tolerance, and we not need to be acting in violence, and the government has a monopoly on violence, and we need to change that. We need to change violence. We need to stop acting that way. Start need to acting in peace and love to each other. 
don't know. Jamar Clark, Philandro Castile, Justine Damond, I love you guys. My hearts are with you and your families. I hope we can change something, guys. I hope we can change this. Hope the blockchain and econom economics and the free market can foster in a new world of peace and prosperity um, where we could actually pay the cops directly and if we paid the cops directly we wouldn't be paying cops that kill people and the cops that kill our citizens and our neighbors and our loved ones and if we stopped paying them they would change but the people that Philandro Castile the man that killed Philandro Castile got away with it and he got a $50,000 severance package to move away he got paid vacation and a $50,000 paid leave to leave and go to another city to be another cop somewhere else we need to separate money and the state they not need to be combined and we need independent money we need independent um, police force where we can all be safe and we can pay the cops directly I would love to pay someone directly that is good at it and not these murderous government thugs peace <laughs>